Oh, he's genius. I mean, the, the best artists in the world, they have a boldness of character and it has to come out in the artwork that they produce. persona, that which belongs to all of us. He mirrors back that which is inherent to all of us, our humanity, our DNA. He is a mirror. Um, it uh, requires a great deal of selflessness. What does Danny's art mean to you? Um, everything. <laughs> like, like, uh, what do you think about his style of painting? Hmm. I think that it, uh, has an important message to send to the world. What is that message? If you could sum it up in... 37 words. Mm. Danny's message to the world is tape condoms on your body and have fun. See what happens. soul that is that loud, it has to be the same same loudness on the canvas, otherwise it doesn't mean anything. What do you think of his style? Yeah, you know, the thing about style is when the colors come together, the style is created. Every style, I don't like saying there's a style to anything, because every painting that's created has a different style. The artist's self is what matters, not his style. We let the life force guide us. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. Also, ihr habt das noch nicht ganz anders gemacht. Ihr habt euch, ihr habt euch ein bisschen rumgerollt. I don't have to uh, explain my art to anyone. I don't have to apologize for it. It's, it's, it is what it is. It's fucking art. And some people are like, I could do that. Yeah? Do it. Do it. Get 30 condoms from Costco. Fill them with paint. Tape them to your body. And walk around a blank canvas exploding them. 
and maybe then you'll be able to understand the depravity of human nature. I mean, the paint is creativity. It isn't good or bad or anything. It's just, it's what it is. The condom, that's society. That's, that's impotence. That's uh, non-sexual feeling, if you will. That's, uh, it's society. Keeping the creative juices from flowing into the womb. Okay? All I did was take the paint, creativity, put it inside of society, the condom, and then burst it onto the blank canvas that is the world. That's what I do. That's, that's my art. That's my, my, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, why? Because it's important. If I had to put a, a word on it, the word would be, go fuck yourself. I think. I think that's what it means. When, when people look at it and they go, that's not art. That's, that's bullshit. That's someone jerking off onto a canvas. Well, do that. Get your dick out. Start beating it. See how hard it is. If you can, if you can jerk off onto a canvas, I jerk off into my paint. A little bit of me is in there. It's Danny DNA in every droplet of paint. I think it's going to help with the authentication of it later. Do I worry about selling art? No. I don't give a fuck if anyone buys it or if anyone thinks it's beautiful. I made it because it was something I needed to do. It's like the, it's like in here. It's in your chest. I would either, I would either rip my chest out or paint. So I chose to paint as opposed to tearing out my chest. And, you know, that's that really. I, it's just messier. As far as the cleanup goes, I just dive into a pool. Uh, my neighbor's house. He's never home, so it works out. No one's ever really, uh, no one really, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's a problem with the filter, but, you know, again, it's not my house, so. I'd say, I'd say I'm very lucky to be living in the, this is a little weird, I'm going to toss this flower now, just because it's starting to, to bug me, I'm going to turn that into a to a painting. And I'd say I'd say I'm very lucky in the sense that like I'm I'm fortunate enough to have uh, a parental unit uh, that is so evil and violent uh, that it makes me want to uh, express myself in paint. Does that make sense? I mean, it's either that or drugs, and the drug things, man, that that's just been done to death. I mean, anybody with twenty bucks. You know, or, or anybody who can suck a dick can get some heroin. You know, so I'm over it. I'm over the drug thing. You know, I thought about expressing myself in other ways as far as dance goes. But, you know, I can't really hold a beat in my head. Um, it's just kind of like a wild grinding gyration flailing about. So I tried to do this thing with scarves. It didn't work out. Um, I ended up burning myself. Apparently, if you if you rub the fabric of the scarf back and forth a lot, and the groin area, it's a sensitive area. And let's just let's just say I don't do that anymore, ever. Um, chafing, I think, is what the doctor said. Extreme chafing. Do I? I don't know. I mean, I don't care if it sells for a dollar or ten or fifteen. I know what it costs. It costs uh, about ninety dollars in supplies and a billion dollars in heart and soul and about 70 bucks of jizz if jizz is going at 25 bucks a, a pop and I know you're wondering if it's going for 25 bucks a pop how do you get 70 bucks well I didn't drop the full load and all of it. You know, there's some spillage you have to account for it. Yeah, that's where I got that number this country is founded on Danny's art <laughs> in that everything good that we have in this country stems from something that Danny once did. How long have you been enjoying it? Um, Since you were born? Four or five days. <laughs> Arousal is definitely the top of the list on that one. Now the effect on me 
They were intense. There was, there was anguish, there was pain, but there was also happiness and joy. And those have to come together because one can't exist completely alone. So you could feel the joy, but also the anguish and sadness that fueled that joy. To take that which is uncontrollable and, and give it definition. Um, I, think, uh, I think Danny's trying to show that um, with the perforation, the paint which represents the fluidity of life and all its colors and all its meanings uh, can be released back into its, its uh, natural state, which is free-flowing, um, and, and allow it to, to tell a story. You know, uh, I think it's important to, to get out of the way for a change.